And welcome back to my holiday organizing series where I upload organizing tips daily to hopefully help you get a little more organized this holiday season. Okay, in this video I want to talk about 20 items you can purge today to help maintain a little more organization during this holiday season. Because let's face it, you don't want to pile new clutter on top of the old. So let's talk general items first. Number one is old or damaged clothing. Now if your clothing is just old, but it's still in decent condition, please consider donating it to a local charity. But if your clothing has been damaged and that's the reason you're not wearing it anymore, you can either just toss it out or you can check online for a local textile recycling facility. Number two is old technology or unidentified cords or maybe even remotes that you have no idea what they go to anymore. You can easily toss, donate, or recycle those items. Again, if you don't know what it is and you haven't used it in a year, you don't need it. Number three is old or damaged bedding and towels. Now you can repurpose these in your home as cleaning rags. Just put them in a bin and put them out in the garage so they're out of your living space. Or if you don't need to use them as rags, please consider donating them to a local pet shelter. They are always in need of bedding or towels for their little cute fur babies that they're taking care of. Number four are books that you haven't read in the last year. Now we all have our ideal self which says, I'm gonna read this book someday, but if you haven't read it in the last year, you probably aren't going to. Please consider donating them to your local library so they can make good use of them. The next area we're gonna talk about is your kitchen. So number five on my items to purge list are old mugs. Let's face it, you're probably gonna get several this year as well. Why not get rid of the old ones that you aren't using or that you really didn't like to begin with? Let those go so you have plenty of room for the new mugs this year. Number six is any expired food. Go into your pantry and your spice cabinet and get rid of any of those food items that are expired. For number seven, go to your freezer. Get rid of any food inside your freezer that has freezer burn on it. And then number eight, food storage containers. Any containers that don't have lids or have been really stained, that yucky orange that they always get when you put like a tomato sauce dish in the microwave and then you've got this permanent orange stain on your uh, storage ware. Purge those old yucky containers and enjoy the extra space in your cabinets. My next category belongs to the kids. And number nine is purge any of their old toys. Now I talked a little bit about this yesterday on my video. I will put the iCard up there, go back, check it out. But basically you're going to be getting a tidal wave of new toys in the house. Might as well get rid of the old ones that are not being played with so that you have plenty of room and you're not building more clutter in the house. Number 10 are any old clothes that don't fit your children anymore. Now I'm not talking about the ones that are definitely hand-me-downs, but Take inventory, pass those things down, and any of that are left over, get rid of, because let's face it, clothes will be coming probably to this holiday season, so you wanna have plenty of room in their closets. Number 11 is any games or puzzles that have not been played with or used in the last year. Again, these are items that are likely to be given to them again this year, so why not make room for them? Number 12 for your kids, would be any DVDs or video games that they are no longer playing with. I can't tell you how many homes I've gone into where I have found Barney or Teletubbies or other little cartoon videos and the kids are now teenagers. Let those go. Make room for the new DVDs and videos that are likely to be coming in this holiday season. Or let's face it, Who's even watching DVDs that much anymore? Everything's being streamed. So why don't you just go ahead and clear out those spaces? 
The next location where you can purge some items is the bathroom. And the 13th item that I recommend purging are any old lotions. So many people get all these cute little packaged lotions that maybe they really don't want, but I find them time and time again stored underneath the cabinet in the bathroom. And they are so old that when you go to squeeze them out, it actually comes out like pure liquid. Get rid of those old lotions that you never used from last holiday season, because guess what? You're probably gonna get more this year. The next thing you can get rid of in your bathroom are expired medications. The holidays is the perfect time to take the opportunity and get rid of all that expired stuff. The next item in the bathroom and my 15th item to purge are shower gels and bath bombs. Everybody has so many of these in their bathroom cabinets, but when I ask how long they've had them, Many people tell me they've had them one, two, maybe even three years. Don't leave them sit there another year. Get rid of those shower gels and bath bombs. And the 16th item I'd recommend purging is any old or expired makeup. It's not good for your skin. It's dangerous around your eyes. You just don't have time for that. Get rid of that old stuff and treat yourself to some new for the holidays. Now let's move to the garage. The 17th item I purge are any broken or duplicate tools that you have out in the garage. We all from time to time can't find a certain tool and we go out and buy another one. And that's when we'll find the first one that we lost. Okay, so take this time to get rid of the duplicates and if you have any that are old and rusted and you haven't used them in over a year, we'll let those go as well. My 18th item on the list is any old sporting equipment that you have in your garage. You know, time is constantly changing on us and where one sport was very important to us five years ago, it may not be as important to us now. So any sporting equipment that you are not actively using every year let it go. Number 19 on my list is any outgrown bikes. For any families out there that have young children, so often it's hard to get rid of those bikes that our children have outgrown. There's a lot of memories attached, but there are a lot of children out there who never had a bike. So if your child has outgrown a bike and it's sitting out in your garage, please consider donating it this holiday season. And finally, number 20 on my purge it now list for the holidays are any old paint cans that you have out in the garage. You know who you are. I know you're out there. We have all saved those paint cans because we might need to touch paint up someday, right? Well, guess what? After about a year or two, the color inside that paint can is no longer the same one you have on your walls. And with the technology we have today to match colors, you do not need to be holding on to that discolored paint can in your garage. Now you gotta be careful when you go to purge these. You can't just toss out the paint. One way to get rid of them is through a community recycling event. Oftentimes they'll allow you to bring paint at those events. Another option for you, if it's latex paint, Home Depot or Lowe's sells a powder that you can put into it to harden it up. You can toss latex paints if they are hardened. You just can't toss them in their liquid form. So there is like a powder or granule thing you can pour in the can that'll make it harden or or if it's just a little bit in the bottom of the can, you can set it outside if it's warm enough and it'll dry that way. But either way, get rid of those old, old cans of paint. Okay, there you have it. 20 items you can easily purge today to make a little more room in your house and create a little more organization this holiday season. I hope you found this tip helpful. If you'd like even more organizing tips for this holiday season, I have created a 55 page downloadable PDF that you can get that is filled with organizing to-do lists and templates and even more of these holiday organizing tips. I'll put the link to that PDF down in the description box below. Take care and I'll see you next time.